Wattles or acacias are arguably Australia's most iconic plants. Acacia pycnantha is the Australian floral emblem and the wattle is reflected in the sporting colours of our nation. The colour of the baggy green and the guernsey of the wallabies rugby team. So why do we identify so much with wattles? Maybe it's because of the 1,300 species worldwide, around 1,000 of them are Australian. And here at the Australian Botanic Gardens, Mount Annan, there are over 180 species planted. There are some species that grow into trees, but the majority of wattles are super fast growing shrubs and ground covers. There are so many good reasons to grow a wattle in your garden. Here are just a few of them. If you're looking for something showy for your garden, I reckon the zigzag wattle is a very underrated species. It'll grow from Brisbane to Melbourne, and when it's not in spectacular flower, the wonderfully weeping branches add further interest with their intriguing zigzag pattern. Most commonly, acacia flowers are a bright sunshine yellow, but there are some elegant cream flowered species and even a red flowered form of cinnamon wattle, Acacia leprosa. It's not just the flowers that are a feature of acacias, many also have fabulous foliage, like this beautiful purple leaf form of the Cootamundra wattle. It has feathery leaves that turn bright purple when there's some new growth, and it adds a whole extra dimension to this plant. Another one to look for is the river wattle, Acacia cognata. There are numerous varieties available, from the weeping golden leaf of lime magic to the bronze new growth of copper tips or the twisty texture of fettuccine. The leaves of most acacia species are botanically not leaves at all. They're flattened leaf stalks called phyllodes. Now, the advantage of this is that they're tough and leathery structures that are very resistant to moisture loss, making them one of the most drought tolerant plants you can get for your garden. Fragrance in flowers is one of those wonderfully evocative things. For me, the sweet smell of wattle brings back memories of childhood bushwalks. And if you want to bring that into your garden, here's a couple of beauties. This is the moon wattle, Acacia semilunata. A really sweet smell. And this one is the Sydney golden wattle, which is one of my childhood favourites. Acacia longifolia. In the wild, many wattles behave as pioneer plants, establishing quickly after fires and other soil disturbance making them perfect plants for new gardens. Another wonderful thing about wattles is their root system. They're a legume, which means they're related to peas and beans, meaning they fix their own nitrogen from the air. This one's got a couple of little nodules, which are a bacterial association, and it means that wattles literally grow on the sniff of an empty
fragrance. And we haven't even mentioned bush tucker, or the way that wattles create great habitat for bird life. There really should be one in every Australian garden. So why not get down to your local nursery and find the best species for your area?